I'm Steve Zizel from the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. In the last few years there's been accumulating evidence that choline is really important for fetal development and that pregnant women may not be getting enough choline in their diets. Choline is a, a nutrient that is uh, only recently recognized as being required by humans and you people who are not pregnant develop fatty liver, liver damage, and muscle damage when deprived of it. But there are many things that uh, lead us to believe that choline is really important during pregnancy. For example, pregnant women transport choline to the baby against a concentration gradient across the placenta, and they can accumulate 15 times more choline into the baby than is present in their blood. Pregnant women secrete choline in their milk, and milk, human milk, is one of the richest sources of choline available. Uh, in addition, uh, the reason that we didn't know that choline was required for humans is, is that we thought that uh, liver possesses a pathway, an enzyme, that can make choline from scratch. It turns out that this enzyme is turned on by estrogen, and in men and postmenopausal women is not very active, but in women, especially at the estrogen concentrations they reach during pregnancy, uh, it makes choline to help supplement the dietary intake to make it less likely that they will become deficient. So why worry that women might need choline? Well, we found that about 44% of women in the U.S. have a genetic uh, polymorphism, a misspelling of their genetic code, that uh, results in the inability to turn on this gene with estrogen. And those women have a special requirement for choline, uh, an increased dietary requirement for choline, and probably during pregnancy run into trouble. If we take animal models, rats and mice, and feed them low choline during pregnancy, their babies are born with decreased uh, hippocampal function, decreased neurogenesis in the hippocampus, and if we give them extra choline, they have increased neurogenesis in the, in the hippocampus and an increased memory function for the rest of their lives. And that effect seems to be mediated by an epigenetic mechanism.